Yo, your boy is trying to run out on you. I was like, hey, I'm ready. nobody trying to run no way, man. I said, I'm about to open this up. He said, oh, let me go ahead and get dressed. You the one that came over here and said, why you got your pajama pants on? We supposed to be going to the store. So I said, let me go and get dressed so we can go to the store. But now that we started, happy Vlogmas Day. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Yeah. Listen, we're going to start this off by asking you all to do something for us. Y'all love us and everything, but I feel like there's a lot of you all that don't know us. And the reason I say that is because since our last Q&A, we've gained quite a number of subscribers. Yes, and we also know that people don't go backwards to look for older videos. Y'all want to know what's on and popping right now. But from the comments, sometimes I can tell that people are fairly new to our channel. So what I want you all to do, there, there are no questions that will be off limits. We may not answer them. Right. But you can show up <laughs> But ask you can ask them. <laughs> ask your burning questions down in the comment section. And we're gonna Indeed. do a dedicated video and answer all of those questions. It, we're also going to put this Q&A poll out on our community tab and also on Instagram. So yeah, y'all think y'all can do that one little favor for yeah. us? I think y'all can yeah. do that. And if you are new to the channel and we haven't formally welcomed you into the family, welcome. Welcome, welcome to our house. Listen, um, I took my husband up on that offer. What offer? He don't know which offer I'm yeah, about to. I don't made a lot of offers, Mike. What offer you, you talking be delivering about? delivering too. But he said that he wanted to put me in the bathtub. Oh. And wash me up and do all that stuff. And he did that. Man, I washed you clean as snow, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't as bad or as hard to get in and out as I thought it was going to be. Nah, he was G about it. Yeah, I'm a G about it. I will say that. Was I prepared for... The process of this healing? Mm-mm. Nope. Nope. Wasn't prepared for it. My thumb. But the, but the major question is, cause it, it took her like over a week to take me up on the offer. It did. You gotta let me know if your if your significant other, husband, wife, girlfriend, whatever, have offered to wash you up, would you have accepted it immediately or would you delay like the queen? If they had a thumb. On that issue. note, I'm going over here and get dressed up. So we can go to this show. All right, let me talk to y'all about my thumb progress. All right, let's get into the thumb and how things are going with that. Um, the doctor seems to think that everything is progressing really well. For me, I was not. Sometimes I am guilty of being the person that overthinks, over researches, and do all that good stuff. For this surgery, I made it a point not to do a whole lot of research because. It was gonna drive me insane until the day of surgery. So I went into just basically what was going to happen and what the recovery kind of seemed like. I stayed, you know, I went on Reddit a little bit and heard different people's testimonials of how they healed afterwards. But for me, I was not prepared for one, the nerve block. If you saw that live, you already know how that went. But I wasn't prepared for the nerves in my thumb to kind of be almost dead, if you if that's the word I want to use. Like my thumb from where the ligament was repaired at, from here on to here, my finger feels like your mouth feels when you've gone to the dentist and it's coming back alive, but to the touch, it has that weird sensation, like it's still kind of numb, but you can feel it. That's how my thumb feels in a certain part right there. I wasn't prepared for that. I also was not prepared for my thumb to kind of be in a locked position until the ligament like loosens up. And the way they explained it was your, your, my ligament snapped. So the ends of the ligament was kind of had frayed edges. So they had to clip those frayed edges, bring it together and then anchor the ligament back into place with these disposable brackets that will dispose my body will absorb them within like three to four months and they had to do that so the ligament is actually shorter so my thumb is very tight so now I have to take time out of my day and take the brace off and try to pinch my pinch my thumb 
to my finger and eventually I need to be able to move it down like you can do like this. Like for right now, I can only get it to like right here on this hand. So I wasn't actually prepared for that. Like real talk, I thought that boom, boom, you know, maybe a week or two and that's it. But when they took me out of work for six weeks, I was like, oh yeah, it's a process. And I don't think I was really ready for what the process entailed, but I'm doing well. I'm doing really well. I'm thankful that the cast came off when it did. But let me get myself up here. We need to get to the store and yeah. See y'all in a bit. So we made it into the car and yeah. we have to do our weekly Lidl run. <laughs> because, weekly? Uh, well, every other day. <laughs> Basically. Uh, we had to get some sweets. <laughs> we ran out of our pistachio ice cream bars and the chocolate ones. Like, I like the chocolate ones. Oh, are y'all anything like me? Your boy do not diet around the holidays. It's virtually impossible because <laughs> all the got doing good food comes out around this time. Yeah. So I just, when, it, when November, December come in, diet is over. Then I come right back to where I started at in January. So if you like that, let us, let me know that you don't. Oh, what the what heck was that? was that? I hope it wasn't, we ran over oh, this bag. That's what but I, I hope something wasn't in it. Hey, let's see if it's a telemarketer. Uh, answer it. Uh, I'm trying to answer it. <laughs> Hello? Oh, they hung up. <laughs> so if you like that, man, let me know if you do that because I can't do it. Now, I know some people can do it. Like if that's, if like fitness and health is your like passion and you do that day in, day out, of course, I know you can do it during the holidays because that's what you do. But if that's not your passion, can you do that? Real fast. Uh, let's put these masks on. Listen, I found some really great masks on um, Amazon with the black interior and with the filter pocket, because y'all know I use the filthy filters in all of our masks. And I got like 25 masks for like 15 bucks. I'm gonna um, leave the link down below if y'all still into wearing masks. I am, because I don't trust y'all. See, the queen better than me. She keep her glasses on when um when she put her mask on, but I feel like I look like the invisible man. Yeah. All right, we came in, we was looking for some day going cherries because we had talked about we wanted some cherries last night, but they had no cherries. So we went on and got some, uh, some black grapes. And what you what does you got? Ow. What the heck is this? Pomegranate seeds. Oh. What you playing on there on there? Eat them. Oh, I ain't never seen you eat no pomegranate. That's new. You must have saw it on YouTube today. No. Really? I eat them. I just, I, it's hard to find them in this like this because you got to cut the pomegranate open. I don't like to do all that. I've been married to her for 20, uh, over 20 years and I ain't never seen her eat no pomegranate. Hey, new day for everything. You yeah. don't see everything. <laughs> I want to. I live with you. <laughs> yeah, you'll see everything. <laughs> so also, we just thought about we don't have nothing for dinner, so we got to get something for dinner too. So it's that's a, what I got right there—the Mediterranean um, salmon. Oh, that looks good. I'm trying to yep. figure out if I'm gonna make a like a a rice like a rice thing over top to go under it. I can't breathe. <laughs> or um, a pasta. And then they look good. Some toasted macaroni and cheese balls. And they sound good. They trying to be like, um... You want to get your mama to try them out, man? I have no idea how much they cost. Is it $1.75? No, they're not. They're trying to be like, um, Cheesecake Factory. I'd say no more than probably five or six bucks. No more than five or six bucks. Don't mm -hmm. get that bacon one. You can do the white cheddar. The white cheddar? Try it, man. The impulse. The yeah. impulse. And it's air fryer friendly too, man. Sure that air fryer friendly. <laughs> Whatever that. We cook everything in the air fryer, man. Try to anyway. All right, so they better have my pistachio ice cream, man. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes, sir. They gonna open them up. So I'm gonna get two of them out there. Two of them. 
and one of these ones. We already had tried these ones, uh, and these ones are delicious too. They not better than those ones, but these ones are delicious too, y'all. You get my gelato. There we go. Like I told y'all, no dieting for me in <laughs> November and December, none. And then January, he'd be like, I'm so mad. Oh, oh yeah, God. I'm already gaining weight. <laughs> At least you can not see your weight. Since um since November came in, I done gained like 10 pounds. So I gained 10 pounds. I was 188 pounds before, um, before December came. Now I'm almost 200. First of all, that's your fault because you're not supposed to step on the scale in the winter time. Hey, I ain't got no problem with the scale. Me and the scale, yeah, we friends. Man, they my enemy, man. Look, speaking of, it snowed here today. Yeah, it snowed and sleep. What? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I think this is the last of the fat snacks. Boom. Why do you keep getting rid of the ones that I like? The sweet chili. Oh, oh. we said, we, that, was, oh. that was in Walmart the other day, but you didn't want them. We got them? No, that was the sweet pea. Oh. So they only had one left back there? It's too low. <laughs> but why are you pulling them out there slow like that, though? Dramatic. Yeah, for no reason. So we don't have to slow it down in the replay. Say doing the most for no reason. It's always a reason. <laughs> I am the most. <laughs> Came in here for ice cream. Forgot. Look. And we don't have any bags because he was like, I ain't working on no bag. Impulse shopping, man. Impulse shopping. Right there. That's what it looked like. Don't blame it on me. <laughs> Have y'all ever seen um, snow, snowball mums? They're beautiful. Yeah, they're nice. But we don't get real flowers because we don't we don't know how to keep them alive. Hey, I was talking to this kid to the queen in the store, man, but these are... Uh, also, pomegranate stuff ain't bad, though. The what? Pomegranate. <laughs> yeah, this pomegranate stuff ain't bad. Mm -hmm. You say it good for you. It's really good. What'd it do for you? A lot. A lot. That's all you know. I ain't gonna say it because there's gonna be a hundred people in the comments. It do this, 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 and this, and you miss that. Nope. It do a lot. That's all I'm gonna say. But not bad though. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. I ain't never seen her these. Because I said it's a lot of freaking work to do the whole pomegranate. So I, I, I haven't did it in years. But me and my Puerto Rican friends used to eat them all the time. Huh. Cute. So the queen is gonna fix this salmon that we showed y'all in the show. Some of this seafood stew that we saw in the stove. See, my idea is I'm going to make this seafood stew and see what that comes out to be. And I'm going to pour the stew sauce over top of this rice and have the salmon either on the top or on the side. I don't know which one yet because I don't know how that's going to come out. But I'm prepared to fix it up if I need to. Yeah, gotcha. I'm prepared to fix it if I need to. <laughs> make it do what it do. Always. Yeah. Queen got that seafood uh, stew going. Um, it's actually good, but it does need a little bit of work. I wish that I had some coconut milk. Or do I? Hmm. They might. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of heavy. Don't pay my ash no mind. Y'all know. <laughs> I can barely put lotion on myself these days. Hey, you um, doing real good. Come on now. So, say work it out a little bit. Easy. And bring the flavors together. So thicken it up so that we can have some sauce to go over the rice. Yeah. But it's not a bad flavor at all. It just needs a little bit of that like tropical coconut type of taste. But I got some cream of coconut in there, but I don't want to open up a whole can just for a day help. I don't have that to give today. Yeah, you didn't want to get to have whipped cream because you said after this it's going to go deep. It's going to go deep. I might just make some whipped cream out of it, man. I hear you. Y'all hold him to that. We used to make this um, low carb chocolate mousse out of that. So matter of fact, yeah, I'll do that for y'all. Yeah, since I'm chef now, oh I done graduated. So the chef, I'm gonna show y'all some keto chocolate mousse. We're gonna make that, man, doing vlogmas. I might do it tomorrow, but 
Y'all hold it. Yeah, don't hold me to it, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all, man, because it's good. It is really good. Hey, the salmon over here in the air fry. That salmon like she about ready to be fired, y'all. Fire. All right, man, the queen to put her foot down in the kitchen once again, man. Look, check check out this, check out the salmon, man. Oh, man, man, man. It's way bigger than I thought. Yeah, man, that, I can't, I can't wait to see what that salmon gonna taste like. Yeah, you gotta try that on camera, cause yeah. that is, that's an, a thought of imagination. Yeah, but uh, better yet, we're gonna try this salmon, but you gotta come back tomorrow. Let's find out how that salmon's gonna taste. We let y'all know tomorrow. We out.